This is Alexis Allegra, a senior software engineer with Radix Technologies, and I'm going to walk you through some of the key features of the Liberty GT home screen. When the instrument initializes, this is the primary interface for using and running the Liberty GT software-defined real-time instruments. The menu button on the left opens the Liberty GT system menu where you can see detailed system information including the current software version, as well as close the system and exit to the Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Now let's take a look at how we launch the Radix real-time instruments. These upper red buttons are Radix applications. Instruments that are not yet installed appear grayed out. The lower blue buttons are examples of third-party IP that can be installed on the system and run from the home screen. Today, we have a selection of national instruments, soft front panels. We'll start by opening up the Radix real-time digital storage oscilloscope by tapping on the button or clicking with a mouse. The scope opens and we see the touchscreen optimized user interface, as well as the sine wave I have input to the system for this demonstration. We can go back to the home screen by clicking the home button in the upper left hand corner. Now we can open the Radix real-time spectrum analyzer. When we go back to the home screen, we see a green play button next to each of the instrument icons. This indicates that the instrument is running, but not visible. The Radix Liberty GT is capable of running simultaneous instruments. While these are running, let's take a look at an example of third-party IP in the form of the National Instruments Digital Multimeter Soft Front Panel. We'll use a mouse to close it, as it's not optimized for the touchscreen on the Liberty GT. Let's go back to the running spectrum analyzer by tapping on the instrument icon. If I were to tap and hold on the icon, the instrument would be displayed on a secondary attached monitor, if available. To close our instruments, we tap on the X in the upper right-hand corner. After a moment, the green play arrows will disappear. That's about it for the Liberty GT SDSI home screen. More information can be found by visiting our website at www.radixtech.com or emailing us at info at